who wants undiscovered, uncrowded, public access bird hunting? Well, if you answered me, you're in the right place. You know, mob scenes and crazy dogs, crappy cover, they're not in my vocabulary. Are they in yours? Do-it-yourself hunting on public ground is never easy. National forest, BLM, grasslands, walk-in areas all have their fans. Sometimes way too many. What if I spilled the beans on places that don't get near as much traffic and might have some great bird hunting too? Now somebody's going to get mad at me and send me a nasty email. But here we are and here we go. Here, here, and here. Nope, you don't have to wear camo or make a noise like a duck. Do your homework and you might find the best upland bird hunting is near the wet spots. Away from the duck blinds and weedy sloughs, there's often ground that's high and dry. Okay, not that dry. And the same things that attract waterfowl bring in upland birds. Food crops, sheltering cover, even water at times. Plus, good management will benefit pheasants and quail as much as mallards and honkers. With a little care and consideration for the guys who got up early, you might have vast stretches to yourself and your dog. I've shot quail among the sage, pheasants and cattails, and sharp tails on the grassy prairies, where other hunters were thousands of yards away, wet and shivering. After the duck blinds empty for the day, don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Hunt the edges where habitat types meet. Go deep into the rankest cover and poke around in food plots. Seek unusual habitats like trees and ditches. Sure, waterfowl production areas were created for web-footed critters and the guys who hunt them. But that doesn't mean blaze orange isn't welcome. It's publicly accessible, uncrowded hunting with plenty of room to stretch out. And you can leave your camel at home. Want more detail? I've listed 12 different types of public access spots in my article at findbirdhuntingspots.com. I'm Scott Linden. Thanks for watching.